Hello everybody, welcome back to my YouTube channel. Firstly, a massive thank you to all of those that watched, liked, commented, shared my uh, special order a la carte HSS unboxing. For those of you that haven't seen that, um, I go through the whole process from being offered that amazing opportunity to bag collections. You see everything, colour charts, the list of decisions to be made and then the bag at the end. Right, this video is a review of this little guy. So I, I am going to be doing a full SLG collection soon. It's just collection videos take a lot of time, especially for me where I don't have a lot of storage. So to be fair, most of the time is getting it out and putting it away again. So I don't quite have that this weekend, but I will do one very soon. It has been requested. And I think it's quite a good time. I have updated my SLG collection. I've sold stuff I haven't used so much or, you know, got too much of. How many LV mini pochettes does one need? Um, not as many as I had. I bought new things because they were pretty, you know, rainbow, etc. So it's probably due an update. But I thought this video is going to be dedicated with a bit of other eye candy. Sorry, sweetheart. A bit of other eye candy to go with it um, on this little guy. So this is the Hermes Burn Mini Wallet. So they do other versions. There's the slightly bigger compact, there's a long wallet. There's a card holder, but this is the mini. Um, currently on the Hermes, well, not currently in stock, but when I last could see that there was stock on the Hermes website, um, these were going for £1,200 in Epsom. I did not get this direct from Hermes. I got this in like new condition at about half price from Naughty Pigeon's Nest. Um, really good place to get some stuff from quite a small online store but um yeah they that runs it is lovely to deal with and there's some good products have i got a mark on this right i'm going to get into this i'm going to tell you as much as i can about it i've got some like fake reward card things to demonstrate with so you can see what goes in it quite an in-depth well i'll try and make it an in-depth review i'm going to start off with the details of mine focus there we go so you can see hopefully it's picking the grain up for those of you that know mine is in the Chev Mysore leather a very popular leather by Hermes for their SLGs I have palladium hardware nice and shiny and mine is in the very sought after colour of Rose Sakura so getting this at sort of like you know I can't wait paid now I think I paid just under 600 pounds I know, it's still a lot for essentially a card holder, sorry, mini wallet, it's still a lot to pay for that, but given that it's such a popular colour, it's beautiful, and it's in Rosa Curl, one of the most sought after pinks that Hermes do, I thought I did pretty well. The only damage to note from this, as I filmed in my unboxing, is a slight indentation on the inside here which has been caused by the popper there. So it's not, you know, it's not damage, it's wear and tear. It's something that's gonna happen in time anyway, whether someone else had owned this or whether I owned it. So I'm all right with that. It's, it's a slight dent, it's squished the grain a bit. I mean, of course I'd rather it wasn't there, but it's, because I like things perfect, but it's not the end of the world. So closure, closing mechanism is you basically have said, no, flaps, angle, call it what you will, and um, piece of leather here that goes over and then slots through the H to secure it. Seems reasonably secure if you put any pressure, if you put a lot of pressure on it would open, but you can see I'm doing a fair amount there and it's hardly moved, but when is that ever going to happen? I've used this a fair bit since I've had it. Um, I've been using it as kind of like almost like my staple wallet in my bag. And then if I've been using an ultra mini bag or I've got a lot of other stuff to carry, I've been swapping into like a flat card holder. More on that when I do the SLG collection. I'll go into how I use all of them and the differences. And 
almost justify why you need how many you need. So that's how this one closes and yep so far I found that good. One of the key considerations for me when choosing a purse or wallet is access. I don't, I mean I do own one, okay more than one, but I own one long <laughs> zip around wallet which is an LV um, and it's, so it's a really nice zip mechanism but I do find it a bit of hassle. I think generally with my purses I want to either a popper closure, Calvi is great by the way, popper closure or something like this which is fairly easy and simple. So that's that, I'll take that out for now. Um, a bit of cash but I will show you that. So that is basically the outside of the purse. Inside we have one slot section there and I tend to put in either like the credit card I use the most or my debit card in there and then we have another section behind and by the way I think this is all lined in swift and um, got a little bit of branding there as well I'll show you so you can see the usual Hermes Paris made in France um, and you can also see here that we've got a slight bit of depth and a little gusset there to allow for some expansion. So some cards go there. Again, you don't want to put too much in because you see how nicely it closes now. Well, obviously this will bulk up the more you put in, which is fine. It's natural. It's how the uh, physics of purses work. But... <laughs> Made new science. Um, it's it, it's you know it, it's what happens. Of course it is. Where else is it going to go? Um, but for me, I don't like to overstuff my purses. I don't like that big. Like my mum would have like big massive. Like what have you done to it? And the thing's straining. The stitches are going. You know, like you really need that much stuff in there? No, you don't need thirty thousand receipts from six years ago, of you know when you bought a tube of toothpaste. But anyway, mothers. So. That's that bit that expands. And on the other side, we have this popper closure here. So you could put a number of things in there. You can put some cash. And again, you've got a bit of a room for opening. You can put, and this is all Mysore lined. You can put a bit of cash, or you can put extra cards. Um, oh, that's where the serial number is, in case anyone ever asks. Sometimes I get asked for the positioning of serial numbers. They're the usual questions you get a delay in answering, so I'm sorry. I don't memorise that, so I have to sort of make time to get the item and search and find and let you know. Um, and then the final section that we've got behind this zipper, this popper pocket, is there. So that's, in a nutshell, the purse. What do I think of it? Well, being, being like my favourite leather, Chev, I think it's beautiful. I think that it's lightweight and durable. So that is good. I did find a slight tiny mark somewhere, but I think it was just, it's literally a tiny bit of dirt and it will hopefully just wipe off. I'll have a go at that later. It's a pale colour, so it's going to happen and I was prepared for that. And that's partly why I was also happy at sort of paying pretty much half retail. Yeah, I think it has got just a little bit grubby just from hands and being used. I'll give it a little clean up. Um, gently, with the right products. Um, but yeah, it's it's going to happen. But I didn't pay full price, I feel a bit happier. So what fits in? Um, let's show you what fits in. So firstly, cash. Now at the moment I have two £10 notes, which are fairly slim. This is a lot of cash for me. I don't normally have this much. If I've got a fiver, I'm doing well. So I currently have that. And where I put this is behind this popper, just in there. Folded in half, sticks up slightly, but you can still get to it, but still folds over. Now I know you can get a lot of larger wallets that have that set, normally a, a slot sort of here-ish, there'll be a separate inner slot, especially made for you to put cash in. I deliberately now avoid those, because for one to two notes, as a rarity, it's really not worth the extra bulk for me. So I put that in there. Um, I tend to put like my main card I want to get to in the front. I then put, I don't know, it's, I've got about four 
And I'm using loyalty cards that are plastic to really um, give the imitation of credit cards and that there as well. So if I put just the fairly thick four, four in there, you can see, see we're still fine, there's no strain whatsoever. And then I might put, what have we got? I'll put three, I'll put three more inside the popper section there and then often what I put is like my donor card and my driver's license behind the bit where the cash is because the donor card being cardboard is particularly um, flat and the driver's license isn't that thick but I'll put a further loyalty card let's go for two um, I'll put another old looking one, uh, two behind there. So you could put more in here than I have done. I haven't stretched this to capacity and I tend to, you know, it's so easy when you've got a big purse to just take a load of stuff out with you and to be honest you don't need it. You, you have this big packed purse and what you use about one card out of it. Now with Apple Pay I end up using my watch for loads of stuff anyway so the purse doesn't even go anywhere. But I always like security. If we're going out, you know, if I'm, if I'm just popping to, I don't know, buy a bit of milk, then I'm a bit more, you know, it's a four minute walk away, I'm a bit more prepared to take the risk of we just do Apple Pay. Um, but if I'm, you know, out for the day shopping, the last thing you want is a shop that goes, oh no, we see some physical card or, or whatever. So, and I have seen that happen in Dior once. Um, not to me, like it was just a magic stranger. Um, I was waiting, so I was listening because I've nothing else to do, and I'm nosy. So um, you know, so it can it can happen. I don't know if that still is the case, but there's still no point. My point: there's still no point in taking out more than you absolutely need. Also, a helpful hint, and this is not sponsored or anything, but I have an app on my phone that I, I have iOS. Um, I don't. Know, it's probably available on Android as well, called StowCard. S-T-O-C-A-R-D and that is an app that allows you to upload all of your store cards this is why I would be part of store cards that just sit in the drawer no idea why um, but it allows you to up upload all of your store cards onto this one app so it's actually pretty handy and it's it, it's kind of clever and it works out where you are as well so here's your card but I find that particularly useful so again it limits how much you can carry because I was finding at one point I was almost like searching for purses, wallets to accommodate store cards, not payment cards or receipts or money and it felt a bit silly. So anyway, you saw how much I put in, that's what it looks like and that's how I like it to be. I like it to be flat. You can fit more in but it will sort of then, um, you know, lift up a bit more. The one thing I do like about the burn range is particularly key, if that's particularly key when I look at my key holder, is that with this, it means you've got complete, you know, obviously there's a limit, but you've got a lot of flexibility. You haven't got like one popper that has to align or a zip that you're struggling against. You have got that flexibility and that movement in terms of how tight the fit is for how much you put in. So overall, do I rate this wallet? Absolutely yes. Stunning to look at. Lovely, hard wearing, beautiful leather. Love the um, palladium hardware against the pink as well. Just polish up my t shirt. I love um, palladium against light pinks, actually, against most pinks. I just think it looks gorgeous. Look at the shine on that. Good old Hermes quality. Um, I find it very functional. It gives me organisation. I like organisation. It gives me a level of organisation. I can put cash in it, you know, I can put coins in this pop of it if I want to. Again, being such a light colour, I don't really want to, um, you know, stay in the inside of the wallet. But it means if I'm just popping out somewhere and I know I'm using a car park that only takes coins. Yes, there is one of those near me. Trust me mad. Just give me an app, just give me a phone app and I can do it, I haven't got to worry. Anyway, then, or ask my husband, you know, when I look and I have 20p in cash in total and I'm like, 
have you got 40p please that I can put in the car meter, the parking meter, and he has to then check, it's, yeah, anyway, it's ridiculous. Um, it's not where we are now, modern times have moved on, <laughs> not prepared for it. So, you, you have got that section, sorry I'm waffling, but you have got that section for coins should you want. So for me and my needs and for how much I want to carry, this gives me a really good balance between just a card holder and a full on purse. It's small enough that it fits in my small bags um, and also again obviously that depends on how much you are carrying as well. Um, but I just, yeah, I, I love this little guy. For me I made the right decision. I think the mini is better for me than the compact or the card holder. Because, um, like I say, it's handy having that little popper section as well. And also for like some loyalty cards that I've got for like my local beauty salon, and those, and those little tiny ones that I think you're supposed to add onto your, your key fob. But I never do. Don't know why not. I never do. I just have them with my loyalty cards. So it's nice putting them in the, those in the popper section as well because I know I'm not going to lose them. They're not going to, they've got that security, they're not going to fall out because they're small. So yeah, the glazing is good on this. It's a beautiful piece, it's a functional piece. So what more do you want? Also, the reason I have some eye candy, I just thought I'd show you how well this goes with some of my bags as well. So in no particular order, Rose Poop Prey in Togo. Look at that lovely contrast. So again, it goes really nicely in this bag. So I've got the felt on it. Um, but you can see there how nicely the colour goes with that. Similarly, I have my mini Ruli here in Mauve Sylvest Swift. Uh, and last time I went out and used this purse, I was using this bag as well. So there are they're very different pinks, you, know, you can absolutely see the lilac in the Mauve Sylvester compared to the Rose Sakura. But I think complements nicely and like I said this is the Mini Ruli, so the Ruli 18. Um, so similar as well to the Constance 18 in Dimensions. And this little guy I tend to just put in the front, upright like that and there's still room for things to go next to it. So it fits in nicely. My latest edition. My Kelly 25 in Natta and Gris Tortorelle. Now this is also in Chev. So you can see how nicely they go together. It's nicely nice to match the leathers. Um, I think it goes really nicely, this pink as well, against the Gris Tortorelle. Similarly, it would do the same against Etoupe. Um, any colours like that. I think Etoupe and pink looks lovely together. So yeah, it's absolutely a great size as well for this bag. I'm just, I mean, look at look at how lovely they look together. Um, and finally, if you want more of a contrast, here I have my black box Kelly with the pink there. So again, I think that looks lovely. And also, I will just show you inside. I'll take it out so that you can see more clearly. In oh gosh, quite a lot of things in here. Just a strap and things that come with the bag. I don't tend to store my bags with like items in at all. We have my Seven Rue Parody insert here. Just take the stuffing out. But you can see how gorgeous. So this is in the colour Broom. So you can see how gorgeous this pink looks against that and I can also just pop her nicely in a pocket there if I want to and you know the hardware and quite a lot of the leather is therefore completely protected. Similarly if I'm using that for smaller items um, then she can just go loosely there or up against the side out of the way so yeah absolutely and it's like the perfect height for this insert for my this is the Kelly 32 Celia piece of art and um, if anyone is interested in getting one of these I highly recommend these I am 
a 7RP brand ambassador. Um, I have two discount codes for you, Jojo Lux 25 for 25 euros off one or more lit insert and Jojo Lux 70 for 70 euros off two inserts. Um, I will get a small commission for that for anyone that, that buys that, but you also get a discount, you know, nothing that comes to me is added onto what you pay. Um, but yeah, global, global shipping, um, and these are just beautifully made. I absolutely love these. They just make a luxurious bag. What I didn't want to do was have a luxurious bag and then put something cheap and felt and cardboardy in there. So, um, absolutely do love and recommend the 7RP inserts. Um, so this isn't about them, it's not sponsored, I just thought I would mention it as I was thinking about colours and how much this little guy goes with. So that's the end of my review. If anyone's got any questions about this or any other SLGs, you know, chances are I've either got them in my collection or come across them at some point, then um, feel free to ask me and if I can answer and, you know, give you some information or advice and I absolutely will. But yeah, definitely a recommendation. I'm just looking down the viewfinder how pretty she is. But definitely a recommendation from me. Thanks so much for watching. For those of you that haven't already, I would love it if you would subscribe. We've got some other good informative videos coming, I hope. Take care, everybody, and I'll see you soon. Bye.